So the way we're going to do the scarf tapered sliding dovetail joint, <laughs> I laugh because I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's a woodworker thing, but I fell in love with this, so I guess I do kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. I first want an axis right in the middle of this. All right, so we're going to find the spot or the kind of the center of where we're going to make the dovetail that split, and it's going to be at an angle. So the way to do this, this is the way I do it. Again, I'm still kind of new at fusion, but it, this seems to work. So I'm going to say I'm going to do a plane at an angle. So I'm going to choose the axis and I'm going to tilt this. I want to do 45 degrees or negative 45 degrees. And then I'm going to build another plane at an angle. Also, I'm going to do the other way. So we're going to have two planes like this. OK, one of them, we're going to cut the object with that plane. And the other one we're going to use to offset where we put our parallelogram parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, I don't know, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So first and foremost, we're going to cut this item. So we're going to choose the slice body. We're going to grab it. We're going to use this as our tool to slice it. Boom. Now we've sliced it. Probably can't see it because of everything looks like it's the same. So we're going to go ahead and change the appearance. Do that. All right. So now we've got these two different bodies. I've colored them. So we've, and we've split this. So now we can get rid of one of these planes here. And the other plane we're going to use to actually offset a plane that we're going to draw on. So I'm going to do an offset plane. I'm going to select this plane. So if you look at it, it's going to look kind of like this. And I'm going to pull this plane up, I don't know, 20 millimeters. You just want it off of this. And then we're going to go ahead and select OK. So we have these two planes like that. Then I can turn off the other plane. So now I just have this offset plane. And this is the one we're going to work on. I can also turn off that axis and that point. This is the one we're going to work on. So I'm going to develop a sketch on this plane. So now we are perpendicular to this plane looking down at the object at an angle. So to do this, we're going to create our little trapezoidal thingy. And I'm just going to kind of noodle this out. You can get really exact about it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is what we're going to use. We're going to create our uh, dovetail using this. So it's going to go through here. All right, so we're going to bring this through. So we're going to extrude it going this way. It's going to be a new body. It's going to be from, instead of from the profile plane, we're going to say from the object, and we're going to select this object and this object. It's going to go all the way through, and it's going to go a distance to object of this and this. We're going to say OK. And now we've got this trapezoidal feature there. But before we finalize that, start merging it, we're going to edit it. And we're going to say we want a tapered angle here. And so I'm going to say one. Uh, let's see if we can do two. Yep, I think we can. All right. So now as it goes through, it gets wider as it goes. I'm going to turn off this body here, uh, this one. We're going to merge these two. So we're just going to create this, create that. We're going to merge it. We don't need to keep the tool, and I'll show you why. So now we're going to grab this we're going to subtract this from this. We're going to hit keep tools. Otherwise, that red piece is going to go away, or the yellow piece. I'm going to hit OK. And now there's our two objects. You'll notice at the top, if we look at the top, this dovetail is a little bit um, uh, smaller in width than the bottom of it, which is great. So it's a tapered dovetail, and that's going to make things a lot easier. One of the things you want to do immediately is you want to reduce, um, you want to give a little bit of a gap inside of the female side of this. And the reason why is because otherwise it's going to be so tight, it won't fit together we got to allow for some tolerances. So typically, I would now offset these edges by about 0.1. But because of the way this joint is, and this is what I've learned, is you don't have to have that much clearance. So we're going to just offset it by negative, um, negative 0.04. So just a tiny bit, we're going to offset it by. And you can see that now when we 
show both of these, that there's a tiny offset between these two joints. Okay, now we gotta add, we're gonna round off these edges just a little bit because it'll slide together a lot better. And the rule of thumb here is that you wanna use the fillet tool and any internal edges, we're gonna give a 0.2 millimeter fillet. So I'm gonna grab those two edges and we'll do a 0.2. And then any of the outside ones, we're gonna give it a 0.3 millimeter fillet. So I've got 0.3, like that. And then we just need to do it for the other one as well. So we're gonna do that on the male end. So now you can see the tolerances in here a lot better as well. So now let's print this out and let's see what happens when we print this out and see how good it fits together. Okay, let's see how this came out. Right off the bat, you can tell that there's a taper in here. See how this end is a lot wider than down here? And you can see that there as well. So this is the moment of truth. We're gonna make sure it works. That is unbelievably satisfying. Orgasmic. Honestly, it's hard to even get it back out, but that is, that is incredible. Very, very tight design. I mean, that is, ah, that makes me so excited. <laughs> so I used that in the making of this joint. And you can see that there. So this could be printed in two different pieces. It was printed like this. And it's that slotted dovetail joint, tapered, slotted, dovetail, whatever. You slide that together. Oh, come on. And that is extremely strong. Look at that. You couldn't do that with a dowel method or just a regular dovetail. But this way I can print this without any supports because these are at an angle, I don't need any supports, right? And then it just, I mean, one more time, right? Ah, oh. ah, oh. beautiful. It's so tight, so perfect. Use this joint, use this joint. The whole reason this whole thing came about is it because of this base for this decor piece I was making. And you can see I originally used a normal dovetail joint, but I had to glue it because it just wasn't strong enough. It kept falling apart because none of these um, bunny eggs are glued in. So they can't provide any support because I want to keep it modular so that you can interchange them like you can do this neutral one as well. So when I made this one, you can see I used that slotted scarf, slotted, geez, I need to learn the name of it. It is so hard to remember, but slotted tapered dovetail thingy. And it just slid right in. So for my fellow nerd enthusiasts that like a little more in-depth tutorial, I hope that helped you. And if you want that design, it's free on my maker world. I'm at Colonel Cufflink. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.